This book is called The Word Collector, written by Peter H. Reynolds. A few words from Peter H. Reynolds. I hope my book inspires you to collect your own words. Being creative, keep being creative and help those around you to be brave and confident. Keep reading, keep writing, keep dreaming, keep going, never stop. Let's keep connecting the dots. Your friend on the journey, Pete. Words rock. The book is also dedicated to Dick Robinson, who has inspired word collectors worldwide. This is The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some even collect bugs. Some people collect comic books. Others collect baseball cards. And Jerome? What did he collect? Jerome collected words. Here he's got the word wonder. He collected words he heard. Like with his friend saying, my trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Willow, the sh tea shop. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Like Emerald and the Wizard of Oz. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Like spark, bloom, drift, and dream. Two syllable treats like treasure, motif, whisper, candid, hover, or glimmer. And multi syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, geometry, kaleidoscope, wonderful symphony. Hmm. There were words that he did not know the meaning of at first like aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. But they were marvelous to say. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning, like Tyrannosaurus rex, molasses, smudge, or bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collection grew. He began organizing them. He had dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, when transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to, to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. Here he has whisper, symphony, electric piece, savor dreams, cascading stars. He used his words to write poems, and then he used his poems to make songs. People, they moved. They delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. Like when he tells a friend, I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words, like harmony, gaggle, bohemian, and peace. The more words he knew, clearly he should share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind.
Jerome saw children in the valley below scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. One's picking up the word wish and another humor. Someone else is reaching for hope. And Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words, tell the world who you are, and how you will make it better.